What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode with me, Chino Suave. And yeah, I'm wearing a fucking Christmas sweater. Not just any Christmas sweater. What do you gnome about this one? Yeah, I thought it was a Santa's elf Christmas sweater, but I noticed it looks like the Travelocity fucking gnome. Get over it, it's a fucking gnome. Don't act like you gnome me. Get it? Like you gnome me? Anyway, enough with the stupid jokes. Yes, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a Christmas sweater. Well, it's December. And that's when Christmas is. But for the sake of everybody and their holidays and how I respect everybody's wishes, it's called the holiday sweater now. Or the ever so famous raped by Bill Cosby sweater. Anyway guys, moving forward. Today's cocktail is brought to you by my good friend Alejandro. You guys can check him out on Instagram. I'm gonna have a link to his Instagram in the information section below. Yes, he's a bartender out of Lompoc. He's one of my really good friends. I met him on Livestar. He's super awesome, dude. He suggested this cocktail in my last Instagram post. And if you aren't fucking following me, my Instagram is the Chino Suave. Yeah, I know, it's a brain buster. It fucking hurts just thinking about it. Oh my God, it's so hard to remember. Let's move forward. You're probably like, Chino. Oh my god, what are you making today? Get to it! Alright, calm your tip! I can't! The cocktail that Alejandro actually suggested I make, he said it tasted like Christmas in your mouth. So that's exactly what I'm gonna call it. I fucking love Christmas! Bitch, do you even know what the fuck Christmas tastes like? <laughs> like mistletoe? I can't, I can't believe you just said that. I, I hate, I hate you. It probably tastes like a lot of cinnamon. Hence why you're gonna need Fireball. I wouldn't usually condone drinking Fireball because I'm a traditional whiskey drinker and to me this is like the douchiest drink you could possibly ever take shots of. Hey bro, you want a shot? Yeah man, that would be great. That would be absolutely delicious. A uh, shot of whiskey? Yeah man, fucking Fireball, yeah! Oh, oh thanks man. That's all I ever wanted to do is go out and feel like I drank a packet of Big Red. But for the sake of the holidays, it's the perfect drink for you and everybody else who likes Fucking Christmas. This drink is actually called the applesauce shot. Or applesauce drink, applesauce cocktail, applesaucy saucium, applesauce sacium, sagium. I made probably half of those up. More than half or so. So let's make this drink Christmas in your mouth. But before we do, do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section below, as well as smash that like button if you want to see more Thirsty Thursdays just like this one, where I get to wear a fucking Christmas sweater. <laughs> yes! It's a fucking sweater! <laughs> also, if this is your first time viewing, I'm Gino Suave. I do video games and other things. Check me out. Don't forget to subscribe. Join us on our 500 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away some sort of gaming shit. So don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you think of these videos so far. And that all being said, let's get into this fucking cockatiel. Hi, I'm the Travelocity Gnome. I'm gonna teach you how to make this fucking drink. Oh, he sounds more like this. I'm the Travelocity Gnome. Yes, I'm gonna teach you how to make this drink. Just kidding, let's get on with the drink. All right, guys, I'm testing out this new angle. So if you could do me a favor and leave me a comment in the comment section below, letting me know what you think of this new year, new me. I'm gonna refrain from saying that ever again. So a couple of things that you're going to need, like apple pugger, Sweet and sour, a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. Fireball, you're gonna need a mixing glass, so that's a 16 ounce pub glass, and a swizzle spoon. Bowl of ice and pineapple juice. Don't forget your jigger because you always wanna be on point. All right guys, so you're gonna wanna have a bucket glass for this one. It was intended to be a shot, but I figured I'd make us a cocktail. All righty guys, so it's going to be two ounces of fireball, but first let's add our ice into our mixing glass, bada bing, bada boom, into our bucket glass. All right guys, so like I said, because we like alcohol so much, we're gonna wanna do two ounces of fireball, even though fireball's for douchebags. Just kidding, any of you guys who like fireball out there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so we got two ounces of fireball. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do two and a half for you fucking douchebags. All right. Next, you're going to want to do one ounce of pineapple juice. One ounce of piña, por favor. Boom. All right. 
right, next we're gonna add our apple pucker. Oh shit, it smells like a Jolly Rancher. It's already starting to feel like Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Booze in every cup. I put it in the cup and I swirl it all around and now we're all fucked up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I totally made that song up just now. All right, last but not least, your one ounce of sweet and sour. Now we're gonna take our swizzle spoon and we're gonna give this a cute little stir. Now, do you guys remember why we stir drinks? Yes, it's because we don't intend to get them all foamy, kind of like your Manhattan. Now, whenever you add pineapple juice to anything, it's going to foam up. So you're gonna stir some more stir. A little bit more stir, please. All right, now that we've stirred our little cocktail up, we're gonna grab our strainer. Now, if you don't have a strainer, feel free to use your hand, but just know that's unsanitary and you are a disgusting animal. Anyway, we're gonna strain this into our glass right here. Now, there's a few things you can do about the garnish. You can do a cinnamon stick, you can put rosemary in it. Uh, I was gonna put some sage, but you know what, for sake of this video, I'm just not gonna put anything at all. It already tastes like Christmas in my mouth. And that's how you make Christmas in your mouth, everybody. Now that we've started off our December holiday month, not Christmas month, because you know we have to respect everybody's holiday, motherfuckers. But this, that's why this is a gnome sweater, not just a Christmas sweater. It's cute, I know. Funny thing, someone told me it was cute and I almost wanted to burn it. It's cool, okay? It's not cute. It's fucking cool. Ugh. Oh, just kidding, it's super cute. This gnome is adorable as fuck and he speaks in a British accent. All right guys, so now that we have this cocktail in our repertoire, we can go out there and make some bad decisions together. Now, before you go, do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you think of this cocktail. Go ahead and make it on your own, but do so responsibly or irresponsibly. I won't tell anybody. And we can start off the holidays right, making what I, my friend Alejandro likes to call Christmas in your mouth. Do not forget to smash that like button if you want to see more Thirsty Thursdays just like this one. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Under the influence. Thank you so much for viewing. Do not forget to join us on our quest to the 500 subscriber giveaway. Alrighty guys, till next time. Fucking sweater's itchy and it makes me feel all rapey like Bill Cosby and shit. I don't fucking understand. This cocktail's actually really good. It tastes kind of like applesauce, like in a glass, like love in a glass. Motherfucker, every time I get to turn it off. Holy shit!